What is up everybody and welcome to the trench gun. So this is going to be a mod adding in the very iconic shotgun into Fallout 4. Unfortunately not adding in the kind of pump action functionality that it typically does have but still going to be a pretty cool and interesting shotgun mod nonetheless. So as you can see the gun itself does look very good. It is definitely a high quality model as well as a high quality texture. Unfortunately it doesn't have custom animations obviously nor does it actually have custom sounds which again those are some improvements I love to see in the future but for the time being I think the gun looks cool enough that we don't actually need them. One thing this gun definitely does have is actually some pretty cool and interesting attachments. There's actually a ton of different barrel lengths. I'm using I believe a compensator right here on this one as well as we do have a shell holder and that like kind of fold down stock from the Jurassic Park movie. At least that's what I know it from. All around again I think the mod itself looks very good and it needs some improvements elsewhere but the gun itself is definitely aesthetically pleasing especially on a lot of these close-up shots. I'm definitely getting much closer than you'll ever get in the regular Fallout 4 to the gun and it still definitely looks pretty good and pretty sharp. So let's actually take some shots with the gun right here. So as you can see, those animations are pretty bad, especially if you're coming from some of the other mods that add in some pretty cool animations nonetheless. But actually, one thing that is kind of a glimmer of hope, someone actually is working on a pump shotgun animation, and that could be very easily applied to the, hello, to this mod, which is definitely something I'd love to see added. As you can see, again, the gun does look pretty badass. Nothing too crazy here. I'm using, again, that shell holder, the fold-down stock. There's not too much in the way of kind of... Uh, shooting the gun it does use 12 gauge rounds, which I honestly didn't even know was in Fallout 4, but regardless, pretty cool. Now let's go check out some of the modifications we could do with it. So here we kind of have what is going to be just your normal standard trench gun. You're going to find these integrated in the level list. So what that means is you'll find them at different shops, maybe on a few different enemies as well as in. So like if you're actually searching through some of the bins in the game, you might find them there as well. So we do have pretty much the standard receiver setup. Uh, you at the basic, it'll do 149 damage, but all the way upgraded, going to do 259 damage, pretty much on par with the other shotguns in the game. We do have a few different barrels here though. So we do have the stub barrel, which is actually pretty cool. It's just basically going to be like, you know, a, a little a little stub barrel right there, which definitely looks pretty cool. Then we also do have a medium barrel, a long barrel, which both of these are pretty similar, just kind of making the gun uh, be a little bit longer. And make sure to pay attention to the range and the accuracy as we go through this. The medium and long barrel actually uh, only making slight differences there. And then we finally, we do have the rifle barrel, which I actually almost think looks the coolest out of the bunch and obviously going to give you the longest range and the best accuracy out of the bunch. So to go along with all those different barrel options, you also do have some different stock options so obviously i was using the folded stock in the little intro here but we also do have a pistol grip as well as a sawed off stock this one actually looks very cool i definitely like that he included that one i know a lot of people are going to want to use this gun with that but we also do have a rifle stock with the pistol grip which does actually look a little bit weird on this gun like it doesn't mesh super well regardless the stock i actually really like is the unfolded stock i think this one looks the coolest also kind of looking a little bit weird not meshing super well but this one is my favorite by far and then finally we do just have a normal rifle stock this one without the pistol grip but regardless again I, I do really like the addition of that folded stock that might just be a nostalgia thing for me but regardless kind of cool so as far as magazines go we just have a standard mag and a quick eject mag nothing too crazy there then as far as different sites we do have just your normal old standard sites you do have a front ring site which is going to be like one of the sites from other guns in the game a glow freight ring site a short scope which I don't know why you would ever use that but regardless I, I mean like I get why you would use it I just hate the look of the scopes in vanilla fault 4 and then we do have a dot and a circle red dot site which is probably what you're going to want to be using although for this particular you know i'll use the i'll use the dot I, you know what no we're, no we're going to go with the standard sites right there and then we do have again a few different muzzle options so here we do have no muzzle we do have a large bayonet we do have a compensator which is not in the right place at all so that's a little bit of a bug i didn't actually notice that before obviously that's only going to be meant to work with some of them and it looks like that's going to be all of them except the suppressor which kind of works that's actually interesting. But regardless, these do work on the other barrel types. I tried it on the other two. Obviously not working on this one. Although the suppressor kind of works because it's so big that it almost looks like it works. But you do have those. Nothing too crazy. Then we do have the accessories. Obviously, the only accessory right now is going to be the shell holder. And then last but not least, you could change it between a buckshot or a slug. So if you don't know buckshots, basically, it, when you fire it, there might be eight or nine projectiles. And a slug is going to fire just one singular uh, projectile. So obviously, if you want to fire this from a range, you're going to want to be using a slug, probably not a buckshot. 
So that's pretty much it as far as mods go. It's a relatively simple mod, although a pretty cool shotgun mod. Again, definitely a mod that uh, is going to need some work to really make it compete with some of the top tier shotgun mods. But so many people love the trench gun that I think uh, they'll just download it anyway. So with that, let's go check it out in action. So now out in the middle of the woods, I did place down some enemies. I do have three different customized ones here. So first and foremost, we'll have kind of just the stubby one that has the sawed off barrel and uh, I believe just the sawed off grip which is going to be firing regular rounds. Then we do have this one, which is actually going to be silenced. Nothing too crazy. And then this one's just going to have the pistol grip and just kind of have a long barrel on it. Nothing too crazy again. And then this one is going to be the one we customize, except this time with a scope and uh, actually using the slug mag. So as you can see there, I think you can see there. Yeah, as you can see, it's a slug where these ones are uh, firing buckshot. So that's pretty much it. Let me reload everything real quick and then uh, we will take on. I placed down some legendary gunners as well as there's a few ghouls about. So uh, let's go try and take some of these guys down. And as you can see, we're going to get into some combat right away. Wait, who's shooting? Oh, are they shooting my companion? And uh, some of them are legendary. Some of them. Are, oh my god, what the hell? Some of them are not legendary. Oh, maybe some of the non legendary ones don't have guns. Is that what's happening right now? So, uh, as you can see, they're all rushing me. Great opportunity to use the uh, sawed off one, though, isn't it? So, uh, we'll, we'll shoot some of these guys. <laughs> That's very satisfying. And uh, as you can see, some people are popping some of those things. So, we could shoot some of these guys. It looks like they're all running. Oh, looks like we have some blood bugs or something over here. So we could try and continue to blow these guys away. As you can see, I do have the mercenary pack installed. That's why so many of them are actually uh, wearing like custom armor and stuff. But let's go take down some of these guys over here. Oh, this guy's invisible. I was like, why can't I see anyone? So let's see if we can't get him from here. As you can see, this gun, again, does do some pretty high damage. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> ah, oh, wait, did he just stun me? <laughs> he did something. He has one of those shock photons. Uh-oh. I'm getting ganged up on here. So let's, uh, let's try and get out of here. Again, I think I do one-shot almost all these guys. So we, we got to be a little bit careful, but we should be more or less okay. And uh, we can blow some of these guys away. So let's try and finish these two off. Oh, I finished both of them off. <laughs> that was oddly satisfying. So this guy's going to just start running. Uh, this is the sawed off one. So got to be a little bit uh, careful. We can't really shoot him from a range there. And I shoot the back guy first. I think so. Is there another guy? Yeah, let's, let's do a critical hit on this guy. <laughs> that is very satisfying. So all the like tough gunners are still wandering about though. So we got to be a little bit careful here. And uh, oh, hello. So we can <laughs> oh, the, the silenced one does a lot of damage. And I, I think these are the actual legendary gunners. So these are the ones that will actually hurt us. But we could blow his head off. Oh, wow. Did he just survive? A headshot from this thing oh wow i actually didn't think he would survive that one actually grow thing i don't too much like about this gun is it actually does what seems like i'm not in immortal mode i just remembered that so they, these guys can kill me it doesn't actually whoops okay that, those are both really bad shots when you are uh using this it, it kind of like has a delay like i almost wish it was semi-automatic over let me put myself in a mortal mode over what it is right now so right now it is going to like when you shoot i'm clicking as fast as i can and although it's pretty quick it like it's definitely not semi-automatic you can't spam fire and if it's not gonna have the pump shotgun i would almost rather the fire rate be a little bit higher i'm sure you could put on a calibrated mag which might make it a little bit higher as well wow these guys are not dying as easily as i thought they would and we can finish that guy off really quickly and then hide behind this tree which uh Hopefully we can kill him. Oh, wow. Ow, that hurt. There you go. Oh, that didn't kill him. Wait, that, why did that look like a buckshot? I, I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure I changed it to slug. So we'll go run around with this uh, kind of sawed off one real quick yet again. And you would almost expect it. Like, I'm surprised they could take so much damage from this close. Like, that. that's some uh, 250 damage per shot on every single one of those shots pretty much because almost i think all of the bullets or pellets were hitting him so that's kind of crazy um i do have a companion I, I don't know it's ellen the cartographer not really sure where she is she seems to have wandered off so we could blow his head off but uh she's supposed to be in the forest here somewhere this is a pretty cool place to actually use this gun because there's a lot of um like it's like a short to medium range and you can jump behind the trees and stuff it's quite a bit of fun in this little forest here, which uh, this is added in by the nuclear 
I forgot what it's called. The nuclear, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a grass mod. It's the top thing on Nexus right now. If you're wondering, unfortunately, I don't believe it's available on Xbox One. So, sorry to Xbox One users. Yeah, I, I don't think that actually is a slug, which is interesting. Uh, maybe I just forgot to slug it to a slug. I thought I did, though. So, okay, so all these guys are going to start ganging up on me now. So with that, we'll use the power that is VATS to hopefully take down some of them. And, uh, oh, grenade. Wow, did I just shoot that out of the air? I think I did. That's pretty cool. I mean, granted, it was a shotgun, so it's uh, it's not as cool because it's a buckshot. But still, I'm proud of it. So, now that I don't have a slug in this, it, it makes it a lot less lucrative to use it from such a long range. Although, it does have the crazy barrels and stuff. So, I guess that's a, a bonus right there. And that guy's going to throw a grenade at me as well. And it's right on top of me right now. So, let's just run at them. And we could use this thing. Actually, one thing that would be nice is maybe if you're using the short one, you have a f higher rate of fire. That would be kind of cool. But, uh, I don't know how that makes sense. But, it would just be a nice feature to have. And, uh, we could finish this guy off real quick. Where did Ellen go? Is she just still down over there? Where I spawned all these guys in? Let's go check on her. Maybe we could find her because that would be nice to have someone to help me out. She's not an irrelevant companion. She's just not a very good companion. Um, I, I don't actually know where where they or where she would be. There's a dead a dead thing. I thought she was over here somewhere. Regardless, I think we killed almost all of them. There's only a few left. So I guess we'll just finish them off. We don't, who needs Ellen? Not the best companion, evidently. So uh, we'll finish this guy off. And it is really satisfying using this thing in the forest like this. I, like, this is just such a cool little setting. I should do more videos over here with this mod installed, obviously. So it looks like this. Wait, well, I didn't even show the gun. It just showed, like, around the gun. So we can finish these guys off. I do have this. One thing I would actually like to see as well, and even though it's just... Let's just finish him off. It's a relatively small addition. I would love to see some more magazine types available for this gun. I think that would be a really nice feature as uh, just the, the two options we have right now I feel like aren't the most satisfactory so it looks like that's about everyone and uh, I don't know where Ellen is she's dead but as always I thank you guys for watching I do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all next time later